Hi, I'm Jeff King. Today I want to go through batch sizes um, and how to optimize your DQing for throughput. So I'm just going to start really simple um, with a drawing of a Q um, and then that will be called by a consumer, okay? So in your typical scenario, um, let's just say this is polling every second. Um, so every one second it will pull a singular message. Um, so a batch will enable you to pull 10 messages at a time. So now when the consumer makes the call to the queue, it'll say give me 10 messages um, and it'll do that every second. So that's giving you now the throughput of 10 messages per second. So 10 times the throughput which is a great way um, and a cost-effective way to actually get a huge amount of throughput um, from your queue. Now the thing to really consider, if we're looking at Azure storage queues, um, messages have a 45 second window that you can do work on them. Now if you go beyond 45 seconds with a single message, it will actually re-enter the queue. So this is the, the time frame that you really have to be considerate of. So, when we're looking at the consumer, when you switch to 10 messages, what's, what happens, what your code needs to do, is it actually needs to run a loop, and it needs to go through each message. So, as it's going through the message, um, when, it's, when it's done with a specific message, um, it needs to call complete, which says to the queue then, right, that the, the message has been dealt with. Now, the big thing to, to keep in mind is this loop and complete process, has to happen within that 45 seconds. If you get outside of the 45 second boundary, you'll have messages that get requeued and come back through the process. So make sure that whatever your boundary is, um, your loop happens within that. So if we have 10 messages and each message um, takes one second to process, So one second to process, that means that the last complete would be called in you know, the 10 second time frame, which is completely safe within the 45 second time frame. Now the big thing that I like to think about when I'm doing this is actually probably something more along the lines of instead of 45 seconds, cut that down by 25 or 30 percent. Um, in this case we'll just do a quick, um, oops, we'll just do a quick like 35 seconds. Just, you know, I, this is just rough hand, but I would go, you know, 66% of what your total time is. Um, something along those, just to give you enough headroom that you would be able to still be completing messages, even if some slowness occurs here. So, then programmatically, um, or even testing, I would try and figure out how many messages can we process in 35 seconds. Now, if we're doing one second a message, we could do batches, you know, in the realm of 35 batch size. And then that would get us completing still within this 35 second boundary, which is still artificial compared to what the actual queue supports. Um, so giving you a nice level of safety. Now, within Azure Storage, um, we're actually only able to do batch sizes of 32, uh, but that's fine. I mean, that's really close to that number that, that I'm describing. Um, and now you're actually getting, instead of the 10 messages per second, you'd be getting upwards of 32 messages per second, which is a huge savings. You can either make less calls or just ensure that um, within the time frame you want to make the call that you're getting um, more messages to process. So it's a really great way to make your systems more efficient. I hope this was helpful and uh, please leave comments below. I'd be really interested to hear how you've been using batches in your solutions. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.